Hello everyone, welcome to the next tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to uh, learn how to model and simulate a conversion reaction. And for that, I have defined a problem description here. On the top side, you can see the reaction, which is uh, CO plus uh, water, uh, which gives uh, CO2 and hydrogen as product. So the conversion rate is 80%, which means the main reactant is going to uh, convert 80%. And the inlet feed is CO equal 40 kmol per hour, water 50 kmol per hour, at pressure of 1 bar and temperature of 100 degrees of centigrade. The reaction is going to be isothermal, and this is a gas phase reaction with dp equal to 0. And then the question for this problem is what is the hydrogen molar flow at the outlet and uh, how much energy we really need to extract, either to extract or to add to the reactor to the system in order to have this conversion happen. So for that, let's uh, get uh, to Aspen Isis quickly and then I start from scratch. First thing you have to specify your component list, uh, CO is the main reactant and then you have water you have co2 also hydrogen okay second thing is you have to select your fluid package as usual i select peng robinson and then once your fluid package for thermal property is selected, then you click on reactions. So you add a reaction. This is uh, of type of conversion as we explained. Uh, so you just double click on conversion. Or you made two. Just delete one of them. You don't need two. All right. Then you double click on your reaction and then you select your components. The first thing is CO. Uh, which is going to react with with water and as product you have co2 and hydrogen with the coefficient of minus one minus one and one and one okay as i said the base component is co and then this is of vapor phase uh, for the conversion you can see the equation here this is 80 percent and then the rest you can put it to zero okay and then you can just close this and you also need to add uh, this to your fluid properties or your fluid package and now you can see that everything is turned green and this is ready to simulate you click on simulation and from the left side, you look for the conversion reaction, which is actually this one, conversion reactor. You drag and drop it, double click on it. Uh, for the inlet, you call it feed. And for the outlet, you call it vapor and also liquid for the liquid phase. And for the energy, you just call it energy. Once these things are selected, you just double click on feed. For the feed, the first thing you go to composition and you had the molar flow, not the molar fraction. You select it uh, on their basis. So you see that there is a molar flow and then you click on that and then CO was 40 kilogram mole per hour if you remember and then the water was 50 and the rest in the feed is zero right these are just products and then you go back again to conditions uh, the temperature was 100 degrees and the pressure was one bar then the rest will be populated automatically uh, we need to specify temperature for the outlet uh, as 100 degrees because this is uh, isothermal, right? You need to do the same for this. And then you double click on that again and under parameters, you see the delta P is zero. This is the default value, which is good. 
uh, but still it's not green you requires to specify the reaction set you go on the reaction and then your reaction set that you specified before was called set one and now this is calculated and everything is uh, turned green let's look at some of the results uh, if you see here uh, there is no liquid phase everything it seems like the molar flow of liquid is zero and then everything in the inlet which was 90 kilomole per hour is turned out to be vapor in the vapor uh, phase so one of the things that we can check is the conversion rate is it really 80 percent of co converted uh, for that you can double click on this one and then you go under worksheet and then the composition and uh, here you need a calculator of course to find the conversion rate so so you had 44 44 uh, uh, mole of uh, co in the inlet minus 0889 divided by 4444 which you can see it's very close to 80% so this reaction uh, is happening at 80 percent conversion rate for co uh, what was the hydrogen this okay the question was what is the hydrogen molar flow in the outlet you can also check that here you go to the vapor and then to composition and you can check how much hydrogen you have in the vapor phase uh, in terms of mole this is 0.3556 and if you're interested in the molar flow you can change it back to molar flow and you can see that uh, 32 uh, kilogram mole per hour is going to be your hydrogen product in the outlet and how much energy do we really need uh, to uh, make this reaction happen so here you can see that you have minus 1.31 e to the power 6 kilojoule per hour you need to extract from the system in order to have this reaction to take place um, i think uh, that was it more or less it this was a very quick uh, tutorial i hope you have enjoyed it and you have learned uh, how to model how to set up and how to simulate a conversion reaction thank you until next time